Hi, this is Caroline, your USA Lifetime Miss Reporter, and I am here in the city of Aiken, my hometown, with Mayor Rick Osmond, and we are here to tell the city of Aiken and the community how we can step up and help out this Christmas season. Can you give us some insight into some local areas that we can contribute? Absolutely. Thank you, Caroline, and we appreciate the opportunity to share with our citizens and the viewers today. Um, you know, Aiken is a special place where giving has always been a big part of our community and it never ceases to amaze me. This was a year we recently got recognized as best small town in the South. A big portion of that is because of the people and their generosity. And you know, they not only give with their, with their money, but they give with their time and effort to help others. Uh, there are a lot of great opportunities, organizations that help people. Not everyone has a great time this, this time of season. It's some, for some folks, it's very difficult. So they need help, and they need people to give them, a, give them a hand up. So I would encourage you to look at some of the organizations that are, that are highlighted in this reel, and maybe look at the opportunity to, to share with others through that opportunity. But thank you so much, and we hope everyone has a, a very, very Merry Christmas. Here in Graniteville, South Carolina, with Gary Farina, who is one of the pastors at Melbourne Baptist Church and executive director for Recovery Road. Gary. Can you tell us a little bit about Recovery Road? I sure can. Recovery Road Ministries is a 10-month in-house program, Christian faith-based, uh, for men and women. This one's going to be a man's house uh, for uh, drug and alcohol addiction. And while they're here, uh, we plan on bringing them to Megiddo Dream Station right down the road for an eight-week job training course, so they'll be able to get a job. If they need an education, they have a high school diploma. We're going to send them to the place so they can start working on the TV. So we want them to be well-rounded when they get out of here in 10 months, they have a job, they'll have money in the bank, maybe a place to stay. And uh, be recovered from their addiction and so moving forward to yeah. become um, uh, outstanding citizens in the community. That's right. Uh, Gary, what could Recovery Road use for Christmas? Well, we have a lot of renovations to do in the house so, yet, so I would say uh, gift cards from either Lowe's or Home Depot would be a huge help for us. Okay. Could you also use any help inside the house with painting or any uh, renovations? Yes, absolutely. We always could use help, especially when we're getting through the renovations with the painting and uh, getting inside and cleaning it up. So it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, Gary. All right, Aiken, you've heard it here. What uh, Recovery Road Ministries could use from you for Christmas. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm here with Debbie Lamb, founder and director of Stand at the Crossroads Ministries here in Aiken. Debbie, can you tell us a little bit about Stand at the Crossroads Ministries? Yes, Stand at the Crossroads Ministries has been doing for 18 years reaching out to women in crisis situations. It could be uh, going through a divorce, it could be coming out of rehab, incarceration, uh, just financial. Uh, Actually, something could have happened that they just couldn't, didn't have a place to stay. They lost their place to, of residence, and so they come here. We give them a place to stay, help them to get back into the community, become productive members of our community once again. Help them get work, help them pay off debts, uh, maybe even buy a house. We've seen that happen. It's a wonderful thing to see them move into a, their own house. Uh, they can stay one to two years, depending on their situation. And uh, it's just we give them a hand up. We, it's not for people that uh, don't want to work or can't work. Or we can't help them. But it's for women that can just get out, get back out into the community and uh, do what they want to do. Support themselves and take care of them. That's fantastic, Debbie. And I know you guys have helped so many women and uh, mothers as well. Can you tell us a little bit about how many women and children are going to be here over the Christmas holidays? We have 12 ladies all together. Five of those ladies have children. Uh, we have um, nine boys ages four to nine, and one baby girl that's a year old now. And uh, they, they uh, will be here, uh, a lot of them alone for the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. Families either uh, not here or not available for them at this time. What can the community of Aiken do to help these women and children have a Merry Christmas? Probably the best way would be to get gift cards. That way we can give them to the moms and they can buy gifts or the needs of the children. They know the sizes and what the kids like. Also food. Uh, they can use that gift card maybe to buy food uh, so they have a nice Christmas dinner. That's probably the best uh, way we've seen for Christmas that helps the ladies to give them a little extra holiday cheer. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's, they can donate online by going to our website. Just look for Stand at the Crossroads Ministry. Our website is crossroadsaken.com. 
And that's probably the best way to contact us. Thank you so much, Debbie. And we hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. You and your team are fantastic. Okay. You too. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching this short video on Aiken, South Carolina, my hometown, and ways that you can give back this Christmas.